chaos on the high seas. A Carnival cruise ship that tipped to one side and sent items flying and passengers falling. The cruise line says the incident was caused by technical issue. 7 News reporter Stephanie Borman spoke with two upstate women on the Carnival Sunshine. Hundreds of passengers checked into the Carnival Sunshine ready to set sail for the Caribbean. Stephanie Manning, her mother, and her aunt were on the cruise. Manning says four hours into her vacation, the trip went sideways. And next thing you know, it started leaning and tipping over. People start falling. I fell against the wall. This video shows the moments after Carnival Sunshine tipped to one side, sending passengers into a panic. Well, my mama was calling on the Lord, and another one was calling on Jesus. <laughs> the cruise line says the incident was caused by a technical issue. Manning says it was like a scene out of the Titanic, the malfunction lasting between three and five minutes. Plates tilting everywhere in the cafeteria, water coming out of the elevator, people getting hurt, all the people getting hurt. People fighting for their life. In this statement, Carnival Cruise says there was never any issue with the safe operation of the ship, and our officers quickly intervened to correct the situation. We remain confident of the safety of the ship as we are committed to the safety of our guests and crew. Even the workers say that never happened. They thought they was gone too. Manning says the experience made it hard to enjoy the rest of their vacation. What was going through your mind? Obviously, the, the, your first thought is my like, life. My life was in danger. That was going through my mind. Was I'm going to make it off this boat? Was I was going to die? And they didn't even get an explanation until the next day. Gave us $50 um, gift card. Uh, they apologized um, for what happened. And the $50 went right back to them. So really, they didn't give us $50. They just gave us something to... Um, the snack on and gave it right back to him, so $50 now. She tells 7 News when the ship finally docked at Port Canaveral, some passengers kissed the ground, overjoyed to be back on dry land. It was a trying time. I mean, I don't want to experience that anymore. Will, you, will either of you ever go on a cruise again? If I do go on a cruise, it won't be Carnival. Stephanie Borman, 7 News. Some guests cut their trip short and took a flight out of the Dominican Republic.